like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars the believer's identity holds the power listen carefully the believer's identity holds the power to his or her walking in victory the believer's identity holds the power to his or her walking in victory if you do not know who you have you are in christ the implication of the death the burial and the resurrection of jesus you will never be able to walk in dominion you will never be able to walk in true kingdom power and authority if you're with me please say amen please look at me you see the realm of the spirit was so designed that the light that emanates from the believer is a product of the revelation that you have and that is what translates to your authority and the power that you exert in the spirit when the sons of Skiva came and met the demoniac person they said we adjure you by God whom Paul preaches by Jesus and the demons responded and said Jesus we know he said Paul we know but who are you in other words we do not see you standing on the revelation there is no revelation that sponsors what you are saying and they beat those guys and the Bible says they ran out naked confession without an understanding of your identity will only make, help you make a mockery of your Christian experience unfortunately listen many believers continue to make bold confessions without taking time to really understand who you have become in Christ the believers identity we teach our students in the school of ministry that when we are exploring the identity of the believer the first thing you have to consider and you may want to write is your positional advantage please write that down positional advantage oh hallelujah let this be a revelation to someone your positional advantage what does that mean your positional advantage reveals to you your status and your ranking in the spirit on account of vic this victorious sacrifice of Christ Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 4 to 7 this is the revelation that demons do not want the saints to have this is the revelation that infirmity and all kinds of satanic things when you do not have this revelation believe me no matter what else you know you will be a victim of the vicissitudes of life but God who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us five even when we were dead in sins had quickened us together with Christ say together with Christ please shout it say together with Christ by grace are ye saved verse 6 now it says and had raised Joshua Selman up together it's not that Jesus as he was ascending a mystery was happening that none of these princes knew he had raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places this is your spiritual location right now in heavenly places heavenly places is not up when you look up what you see is your ceiling heavenly places is a location of ranking in the spirit because you see there is order in the spirit even among the demonic kingdom they respect order it was paul that gave us the organogram he said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against what principalities against powers there were a legion of demons in one man but it was not all of them that spoke they also believe in obedience so it's important that you understand that positional advantage because you are able to exert dominion over principalities and powers on account of the consciousness of your status is someone learning we have been raised up keep that scripture there please we have been raised up together 
and made to sit together in heavenly places in Christ. We have been raised up together. What is in heavenly places? You have to go to Ephesians chapter 1. Chapter 1 from verse 19. Let's see what is in these heavenly places. The Bible says, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Next verse. Which he wrote in Christ when he raised him from the dead. You see how intelligent Paul is. The first information he gives the church in Ephesus is that Jesus was raised from the dead and made to sit in heavenly places. When we get to chapter 2, he says in continuing that revelation, you were raised together. Keep the scripture there please. And set him at his right hand in heavenly places 21 he gives perspective to the implication of being in heavenly places that realm that is far above that organogram that paul would list far above principalities far above powers far above might far above dominion far above every other office that is named not only in this realm but that even in the world to come your status will still hold Listen, this is very powerful. There are many people trying to cast out demons and you find out by the next day your hand is not working again because you came with a blind approach not from the standpoint of your positional advantage. Your feet may be stepping upon the shores of Abuja or any region but the Bible says in ranking you have been exalted to the very position as Jesus was being coronated the Bible says in him and with him we sat at that right hand of power. That means every believer in Christ who has this understanding can tell any demon any spirit in the name of jesus you have oppressed my family i i have been coming to you as a nigerian i've been coming to you as a yoruba man i've been coming to you as a Hausa man but i come from my exalted position i come with the consciousness of my office the devil does not respect your earthly locality no the devil does not respect your age or your gender the protocol in the spirit is obedience is based on ranking and spiritual status your positional advantage is someone learning mm. so you may look ordinary for as long as you think you are ordinary but the moment you have this awareness listen this is not some pentecostal jamboree no 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 this is, is it is truth the devil knows that this is true same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me tell you the truth when I stand to minister to, for, to people I don't stand with the consciousness of this pulpit this is too low for authority no what is the distance between this and the ground you stand from an exalted position this is not pride it is the truth in the army there are generals is that true and even among generals there are rankings there are colonels, lieutenant colonels, and then like that. If the Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. A man of honor, a man who has been exalted and does not know. A man of honor who does not know. Waiting for the amount in your bank account to impart faith to make you know you are risen with Christ will cost you a lot. Waiting for the applause of men 
you must carry this consciousness it is not a privilege of preachers it is not a privilege of the western world the same lord is rich unto all they say i perceive i see that god is no respecter of persons exalted 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 his possibilities become my possibilities exalted in the name of jesus christ far above great fathers of faith like bishop oyedeko will call it a far above mentality and they've proven it with their lives the bible says he that cometh from above give us john 3 31 he that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from the north is a northern man. He that cometh from the south is a southern man. He that cometh from America is an American. But he that cometh from above is above all. Is above all. Is above all. Above causes. Above yokes. Above limitations. He that cometh from above. The preacher that comes from above, the businessman that comes from above, the parents that comes from above, the career person that comes from above. I am more than a Nigerian. As much as I'm proud of being a Nigerian, it, it, it is more than being a Nigerian, more than being an, an African, more than being on the earth here. I may not look like it, but the Bible says I come from above. Prophesy to yourself, I come from above. I come from above. In the name of Jesus, shake off limitations. Shake off the negative speakings of men. I come from above. Hallelujah. Man of God, the day you carry this consciousness, it should not plant pride but there is a settled confidence i come from above that means everything will be exempted for me it can be normal when it comes to my turn no there is an advantage and i insist that at that advantage be reflected in my life he that cometh from above do you believe the bible Now you see, sit down please, please sit. Satan, listen my dear people, Satan is the master of the sense realm. He knows that until the believer is properly mentored to a point where you become spiritually minded, there is such a thing as being spiritually minded and there is such a thing as being carnally minded. Are we Bible students? The Bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace what does it mean to be carnally minded that means your convictions are based on the impulses of the flesh the impulses of the sense realm if i check my account and i see a thousand naira there and i look and find myself in one small room and i'm trekking with no vehicle i use those things to now describe myself and i feel stupid for believing what the word of god has said so because satan knows that except the believer is properly mentored to be spiritually minded the default state is to use the things around you there are many wealthy people who are not seated in heavenly places there are many intelligent people who are not seated in heavenly places being seated in heavenly places is a status that comes as a gift by being in christ the moment you have that understanding now you understand what i mean by the statement that we made earlier that the victory of the believer is not dependent or the dominion of the believer is not dependent on the victory of Christ alone. It's dependent on your understanding. There is a consciousness that swallows up limitation. You can sit down in your one room and take Gary with honor still seated in heavenly places and you force that reality in that room to change and look like what the word of God says. Do you believe what I'm saying? I'm seated with Christ. I'm seated with Christ. 
seated with Christ it has made me an overcomer seated with Christ if you don't trust me trust the person I'm seated with hallelujah there are times that when they are giving offering in church children may not have offering but the people they are seated with can bail them out is that true they can be passing the offering bag and you are seated with no offering and someone seated close to you who you are seated close to matters spiritually speaking so you don't feel bad now but physically speaking because the person you are seated close to is seated with Christ the Bible kept telling us and showing us the picture of God and Jesus a number of times when Stephen was about to be retired out of the many things the Bible records that he saw was that scenario the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of the father in honor of a Messiah who was coming home ladies and gentlemen I submit to you there is no greatness for anybody in Christ who does not understand this you are not the first to come from a weak background you are not the first to start ministry with all kinds of limitations your status becomes your advantage in this wicked world he that cometh from above let me indoctrinate you again he that cometh from above cometh from above you will always reflect your location he that cometh from above he that cometh from above is above all the bible says he that is of the earth do you know he's he's listing different realities alongside the consciousness that activates them that means you have an an option of having an above mentality an earthly mentality and we will know your conviction by your speaking the bible says he speaketh of the earth he that cometh from heaven is above all what is all above everything above all you don't see limitations in your life your only limitation is the voice of god and the law of process what business does a plane have with a mountain what business does a plane have with water it is above the concept of mountain and river and valley is a relative statement is very relative a person who is flying 35,000 feet above sea level does not even know that he just passed a mountain so what you call a mountain is a representation of the realm you are looking at things from are we together what is the business of someone who is flying 35,000 above sea level with a snake that is moving on a mountain or a dog that is barking on the ground or an umbrella who is waiting on the ground no there are certain realities that will never reflect in your life until your mindset changes now let me tell you the balance most believers have not been taught this positional advantage properly it has translated to pride without revelation so there are people who cannot start small they say god forbid i will never take gary in my life again i will never take this i can't stay in this one room i am no 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 this is not your physical realities does not if a king stays in a hut you call that hut a palace it's not it's not listen it is the it is the king's influence that changes the environment not the environment are we together there's a particular king in this nation i think he's still alive he was king at age two two years some of you may come from his region two years he became king and you see this small boy with all kinds of rappers that look like they just wanted to snap him whether you believe him or not he's king and from that time till now he's been king your positional advantage your positional advantage i always marvel at an aircraft as it lifts you will see it turning very slowly lazily sometimes you are looking at your time and you're almost getting angry and it looks like the plane spoiled just be patient let it get to the end of the runway and it starts moving to a point that you cannot even tell what speed is at and in literally without exaggeration 
in less than a minute is already far above you, you you just keep looking at things and houses now become like toys the bible now says we have been raised up it's a spiritual location so when a spirit talks verify what realm before you waste your time with heart attack and pain and whatever it is if someone looks at you and says you will never amount to anything before you waste your energy verify from what standpoint i truly believe this about myself and i'm proposing this understanding that this is what sponsors your victorious living you will waste the experience of easter if you just celebrate jesus alone you must know that as he was raised i was raised with him i was raised with him i was not raised with him as an apostle i was raised with him as a believer i am first a believer before a man of god when you strip me of everything i have the last thing that will be left is my status as a believer and the bible tells that it is the greatest status behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called sons of god not men of god sons of god is a greater status than a man of god a man of god is a description that shows the geography of your assignment a man of God does not describe your identity with God, but being a son of God. The child of a CEO and a board member in that company, in terms of status and access, who is greater? Hmm. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Ah. Mortal man, awesome God. Mortal man, or that I'm just a mortal man, awesome unassisted outside of Christ. We are mortal men. The word mortal means death doomed, subject to deterioration at any point. That's what it means to be mortal. But when you are joined to Christ, 